What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we're gonna talk about the WWE stalker, man. Uh, the individual that was stalking Sonya Deville, he got charged and sentenced to 15 years in prison. It's gonna be an interesting one. Uh, I didn't know this was a thing until like maybe a few months back or whatnot. Uh, I, you know, I, I think I have, I think I was watching maybe one of the videos talking about this and like reacting to it. And I didn't even know she would have been stalked and was dealing with this, which is really, really crazy. So we're going to check this story out. Uh, it's kind of been all over the place, man. This is on TMZ Sports, so we're going to see what they got to say about it. WWE superstar Sonya Deville stalks, uh, stalkers sentenced to 15 years for failed kidnapping plot. Just the headline alone is wild to even think this was a real thing. The South Carolina man who stalked and attempted to kidnap WWE superstar Sonya Deville was sentenced to 15 years in prison, TMC Sports has learned. On Tuesday, Philip A. Thomas II pled guilty to several charges, including attempted kidnapping, armed burglary, and aggravated uh, uh, stalking, all in connection to Deville. Um... And this this looks like a uh, uh, like some uh, camera footage, CT CCTV footage or something like that. I don't know where the camera's from or whatever, but just some footage of the guy. In August 2020, Thomas, who uh, according to prosecutors was obsessed with Deville, drove from South Carolina to Lutz, Florida, where Sonya lives, to kidnap the WWE wrestler. According to Fox 13, Thomas entered Deville's home just before 3 a.m. armed with a knife plastic zip ties duct tape and pepper spray hey yo what the hell i didn't know the great details of it i kind of got the gist of it but damn bro that's bro my man's literally drove that far to actually try to kidnap this person bro like what that's wild as hell mental is mental issues is a real thing mental health is a real thing and and we're starting to see more and more people definitely need to talk to somebody to get that shit sorted out because that's not normal the outlet reports uh deville real name uh daria ray uh burn uh Berna, uh Ber bernanado i'm probably mispronouncing it sorry if i am fled and called 911 once she saw thomas who made entry into her home when cops arrived thomas was still inside the home and i guess this is alleged text you're gonna give me what i want there's no way you can avoid it. Mark my words, I'm going to SummerSlam with you as your boyfriend. I'm going to force you to do what I want. You should not ignore me. You just might see me tonight. Yeah, bro. That, And I'm sure wrestlers get a lot of messages. They don't even check. Maybe some of them don't probably even run their, their social media accounts like this. But for someone to just... that That's... Bruh, that's beyond creepy, beyond weird, beyond disturbing. This is wild. Dude is really talking about, yeah, at SummerSlam, you're going to be my girl. How are you going to force someone to be your girl, bro? He don't even look like he's all there in the face. Look at the blank stare. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, in the months leading up uh, to the break-in, Thomas also sent threatening messages on social media. The 29-year-old... Uh, Deville, according to prosecutors, Deville was so shaken up by the terrifying uh, situation, she had resorted to carrying a gun. In fact, she was arrested for unlawful weapon possession in New Jersey in February, which this I do remember uh, was being talked about. But it made sense. She had a gun on her and rightfully so. You know, since she had a gun on her because, I mean, come on now. You never know what type of crazy individual is going to try to do something to you. They would drive all the way to break into your house at three in the morning with, you know, zip ties and weaponry. You never know if somebody recognize you in the car somewhere. You maybe you don't have 10 on your car. They but oh, is that is that Sonya Deville and try to follow you? You never know. So, um, hey, I'd rather her get arrested. Even though, you know, it sucks. There's different laws for each state when it comes to guns and having a gun or whatever. I'd rather her get arrested than, you know, somebody try to, you know, pull up on her and she don't have no type of weaponry. As for Thomas uh, the second, after his 15 years in prison, he will be on probation for 15 years. Hey, man. Hey. Leave that boy where he at. 
leave, man, leave him where he at. 15 years. I don't know. Maybe he ends up getting off for, you know, I don't know if there's, um, if he's eligible for parole. Maybe that could end up being the case, getting off for, for, uh, for, you know, good behavior. I don't know what the exact stipulations are, but nah, my man deserves to go to jail for a while. Hopefully, I think it's more so just a mental thing. Yeah, granted, he thought out the plan. He knew what he was going to do. So this wasn't no spur of the moment. I, I, he obviously premeditated this. But there is some mental instability going on in that brain of his. And maybe they need to get somebody to talk to him some, to figure out what the hell is going on. Because that's just, that's obsessiveness to a whole nother level. And you see it a lot especially with the women in wwe like their fan base sometimes you guys take it a little bit overboard like sometimes y'all get a little bit creepy with the pictures or y'all get a little bit obsessive with the comments and start saying some wild stuff and if they don't respond to you or whatever you start you know getting irate y'all gotta chill and if you can't chill someone needs to be able to say hey something's not right about this you know, or maybe, you know, have that self-awareness. I need to probably get something figured out. You know, I need to talk to somebody. There's, we live in a time where I don't have a problem with anybody having to talk to somebody to sort things out up here. Because this could be our, our greatest friend, like our greatest attribute, our brain and, and what we can come up with as humans. But it can also be our greatest detriment to what we may think is really happening or and it's not the case. This dude really thought. The play was to go down to someone's crib that he's never personally met and potentially tie them up and force them to be in a relationship with them. There's no alarms or, <laughs> or systems in his brain saying, I don't think this is a good idea. And nothing was like, I don't think this is a good idea. He may not have even told anybody because I'm sure if he would have told somebody if he had some friends or family, they would have been like, yo, what the hey chill out you know what i'm saying and maybe could have warned somebody uh ahead of time so definitely i don't know what the case is but i do think you know him being in jail honestly i understand it you know what i'm saying but they definitely need to get somebody uh to at least be talking to him in jail to figure out what's going on and maybe he can be rehabilitated uh rehabilitated back into the uh into the free world but he needs to talk to somebody he don't just needs to be in jail just sitting there and festering over the fact that he didn't get to ac accomplish what he wanted to accomplish because who's to say he don't get out and then be like man i waited 15 plus years or whatever man i'm i'm hey sonya she gonna get this loving like nah they, there needs to be somebody to talk to him to figure out what's going on and maybe they can help but honestly i'm 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 all in for you know my my man's being locked up and hopefully sonya can you know have a little bit of ease knowing that you know the person that tried to fucking kidnap her is going to be in jail for quite some time and you know i still want her to always be protected as much as she possibly can so hey comment down below let me know what your guys thoughts and opinions on this whole situation do you guys feel like the the time was justified 15 years do you think it should have been more do you think it should have been less do you think he should have been uh sent to like a maybe uh uh a psychiatric ward so they can figure out some things on them or do you think this is the best route sending my boy to prison and going from there let me know down below uh on this whole crazy uh, topic, but I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on channel road to 150k and I'm still the undisputed YouTube version of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.